everyone. Uh, my name is Tom. This is going to be a video series on my conversion of a gas-powered boat to an electric boat and uh, why I think this might actually be a really bad idea. I originally planned on um, doing a car conversion. Um, I found what I thought was uh, the perfect donor vehicle and I think it, it is the perfect owner vehicle, but my problem was it was just way too nice to uh, to take apart. So um, I fixed it up a little bit and um, sold it. Over the years, um, we've owned a lot of different boats. Um, this is all the boats that we owned in sequence. Um, this last one here, the uh, Aquasport. Um, and bought that, did a little bit of work on it. It was a fun little boat, and um, we sold that in uh, 2000. The one down on the lower right um, was a boat that we completed the Great Loop uh, in 2004, 2005. If you're not familiar with the Great Loop, um, it's a circumnavigation of the eastern half of the United States. Like I said, we did that in 04, 05, and uh, we had uh, quit our jobs and uh, went back to work after work. So here's boat number six, uh, Murata 1800 MVB, 4.3 liter engine, OMC stern drive. Turns out it had a cracked block, but it did have a, a clear title and a really solid trailer. Um, it was $565 on eBay. So, like I said, I knew it had a cracked manifold, but um, we found it. Here's the tentative schedule. Um, it's October of 21 right now. Uh, we bought it exactly a year ago. Um, the, the demo and the, the rebuilding of the stringers and bulkheads and flooring is complete. Um, we did some uh, gel coating on the floor a couple of days ago. Um, we expect to start the uh, testing of the EV equipment uh, this fall and winter. And hopefully we'll be posting some videos on that. Um, we hope to do a proof of concept in the spring of 22, so that'll be um, putting the boat in the water in some form of partial completion and then finishing it whenever uh, we're not in a big rush to get this done. So why is this a bad idea? Um, cost. I'm estimating this to be about 25 grand. I'm, I'm not likely to get most of that back. Um, efficiency, obviously cars roll well, boats are floating anchors, it, it takes a lot of energy to get them up on plane. Cars get really good gas mileage, boats get really poor gas mileage. Um, a pound of gasoline will take you a whole lot farther than a pound of battery, so the, the weight of the batteries is a, is a major concern. Electricity and water don't mix. Um, we're going to be dealing with high voltage electric, um, both AC and DC and we're gonna put a lot of effort into making this a safe project. Can't carry spare batteries. Um, obviously range anxiety is a concern in cars. Um, range anxiety in a boat is, is really a major problem. So here's the plan. Um, this is just a quick picture of um, rebuilding the stringers and bulkheads. Um, this was probably six, eight months ago. Um, batteries, uh, we're, we've already taken delivery on 60 uh, LifePro 4, 272 amp hour cells. The total pack will be about 52 kilowatt hours. Um, just for reference, uh, that is about equal to the original um, small Tesla pack. And we're going to connect them to P30S, that's two parallel banks, 30 cells each, total of 96 volts. Uh, and we'll have those independently switched, so if we have an issue with one pack, we can hopefully get home on the other one. Um, I think we got a pretty good deal on the batteries, direct from China, 160, 106 kilowatt hours, $106 per kilowatt hour uh, delivered. 
and that's before the shipping issues of 2021. So here we go with the weight. Um, the original engine was about 660 pounds. Um, the original fuel tank was about 140. Uh, the new Hyper 9 electric motor is 120 pounds. Uh, we're going to put 30 cells on the port side, 30 cells on the starboard side for a total of 660 pounds. Bottom line is um, we expect that uh, the weight's going to be pretty close and the position of the weight is also going to be pretty close. Uh, we are also going to um, be removing, uh, reducing the seating from 7 to 5 on the Coast Guard plate. Um, and that will give us a little extra capacity too. So I think we're going to be in pretty good shape on the weight. So here's the plan. Um, the original boat had a 4.3 liter 180 horse engine. Um, these boats were commonly shipped with a 3 liter 135 horse engine. And the Hyper 9 has a 120 horsepower peak, a little bit less with the 96 volt pack. Um, you know, over the years, I've skied behind 50 horsepower boats and, and they do just fine. So I think we'll be okay on horsepower. Um, this is a quick graph comparing a 3 liter auto engine to the Hyper 9. Um, not very professional um, and I don't know how accurate it is, but it looks like the horsepower curves are actually pretty similar. And um, torque is not a concern. Uh, electric motors give you really powerful torque uh, right out of the box, so I don't think it's going to be a problem getting this boat up on plane. Here's the budget. I'm not going to go over this in detail. Um, you can pause this and look at it if you're interested. Um, but this is how I came up with a 25 grand estimate. Um, I'll update this as I go along, but I, I think we're going to be over this. So um, just a quick information about this channel. Um, this is a video log. It's not a tutorial. I'm not an expert at anything. Uh, I'm going to try to keep the episodes short. I'm going to post a couple episodes on the rebuild, um, but uh, you can skip over those if you're more interested in the uh, EV conversion part of this. Um, I'm hoping to start on that uh, here shortly over the next couple of months. So if you're interested, um, you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe below and uh, you'll get notified when uh, new episodes are posted. Um, I'm not earning anything on this. Any uh, links that I show below are just shown as a courtesy. So thanks for watching and uh, feel free to give constructive comments if you are interested. Thank you very much.